and uh, welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at our new apiary site just by here and uh, just getting it slowly set up and doing our thing. So I thought I'd come up and bring you up and show you what it's looking like and the space that we've got. It's nice, it's got loads of stuff around it. It's in a really secure location, so really, really pleased with that. And uh, yeah, it'd just be awesome to uh, work in a new place, you know, so really, really pleased. So gonna show you around and uh, see what you think. So one of the hardest things when choosing an apiary site, especially if you're looking at setting one up, is the location. One, is it safe? Is it secure? The other one then is the local forage. What is it like? Are you going to have in a three mile radius a good set of nectar and pollen? Now we're about, I think it's June the 11th or 12th. And you can just see, looking at the trees, the wildflowers, already in this particular site, it's a decent setup. It's got a nice fence line for your safety. Good height from any other houses. And uh, it's also kindly from our landowner. She's got a nice setup then with uh, some of the uh, scaffold fence style protection. Just behind us as well, more, you know, sort of wild areas and whatnot. So it's a really decent setup. When you take into account, right, I'm gonna stick it under trees. Always have a look and think, how old are these trees? What is the likelihood of falling? Especially with some of our wind. Previous branches that have fallen down, is it gonna cause concerns? So you can see a tree is gone by there, tree at the back by there is gone. So these are things you need to take into account. And then it's accessibility. Are you gonna be able to carry all your equipment down and whatnot? So rocking some new hives this year. So we've got, obviously you've met her, this is unethical. And then we've got a couple of nukes. Some of these are for customers that I've brought up here anyway, just to keep them nice and placed. Uh, this one was a swarm, I believe. This one was a split of carnolians, uh, unethical. And then these are the customers. So I've still got a few more hives to bring up and whatnot um, and get that sorted. Another thing you need to take into account is how are you going to work on it? Now, a lot of beekeepers use pallets. Over time, they do degrade, they do rot. So you have to be able to think, right, am I going to be able to pick up a hive when they are breaking and whatnot? So that's one key factor to bring into place is in the future, is it going to be sustainable? Is it going to be an issue for me to move your long-term aspects? So you've got to look at that. Once you've got all those into place, it's then agreeing with your landowner what you're going to do, what is the benefit for them. Obviously, you're using their land, so you've got to look after them as well. Whether it's a financial aspect, most people operate on per hive. I'll give you some honey from each hive, and that's a good way of doing it. Other people may be like farmers that have got crops that need doing. You're doing a benefit for them. Obviously, you can reward them with honey as well because they're also doing that but you're pollinating their crops too which is also a benefit so it's coming up to that agreement aspect so make sure you know what your agreement is in place before you do it check your surroundings out bees are bees we know that they swarm they can go to anywhere they can do what they want are you going to be able to come out every seven days without any issues um, and make sure that you're not going to be facing any swarms that is a key factor that is such an important aspect so those key steps i put there i don't know how many they were they're the fundamental principles of setting up an apiary and i always recommend using an apiary instead of using your back garden because over time things change bees change genetics change it can come aggressive if you've got neighbors that originally liked them they could then turn to dislike them especially if your bees have changed so this brings that freedom of not having to worry about that stuff but the biggest one I would say out of all of it is just security. Make sure it's secure. Make sure you don't have to worry when you go away and think, oh, they're gonna get robbed. So this is what my apiary looks like now. We'll have a look back in about 12 months time, see what it started off like and see what it finishes like. It never finishes, but this is what the original sort of starter is. And it'd be nice to reflect back on this in 12 months time and see what it's looking like. Now it's time for me to go and do some inspections. Thank you. 